In celebration of the 2017 World Press Freedom Day, the Nigerian government has been urged to protect the rights and freedom of journalists here in the country. UNESCO, in collaboration with the European Union, organized an event to mark this day in Abuja, the nation's capital. At the event, the groups condemned the killings, arrests and molestations of journalists in Nigeria. They say these actions deny journalists the right of freedom of expression. Well, press freedom, uh, relatively speaking, is, is rather good in Nigeria. There are, however, worrying incidents uh, of breach of press freedom, freedom and uh, journalists are being killed, journalists are being arrested, and uh, we very much uh, think that the state should protect the freedom of the press freedom, uh, the freedom of expression and, and information in this country. Sadly, between last year and this year, in the ranking of world journalists, Nigeria fell in the, in the ranking by Reporters Without Borders. Yes, some people say it's, uh, it's, a, private, it's, a, it's a CSO, but it's important because that's how we measure how we are doing. In 2016, they ranked us 116 among 180 countries. But today, they are they're, they're ahead of this uh, World Press Freedom Day. They are ranking us 122. That means we fell. And to us, it's not surprising. The arrests are becoming too many. The harassments are becoming too many. Nigeria is not doing badly when it comes to the uh, freedom of uh, uh, expression, freedom of information. And that uh, they, they've been able to give uh, chances or chance to the journalists to really enjoy their freedom. But I feel we can do more. The Nigerian government needs to do more. We need to engage them because uh, just a recent time in ba Baesa, we heard of the killing of a radio journalist uh, that was just sleeping in his house and he was killed. And we believe that the government should be able to bring the perpetrators into book. They should be able to bring these people that are killing the journalists in the course of doing their profession. They should be able to bring them, on, I mean, they should be able to bring them to book. Who are the people killing them? Why are they killing them? Because these are the people who give voice to the voiceless. And we cannot just allow this to continue.